Hi, this is Dr. Garner. We're here in session and um, this individual is having return of pinching through the front with a knee to chest um, range of motion. So simple, I'm gonna have you do knee to chest range of motion. Okay. And bringing the leg across and out to the side like we did, remember? Uh-huh, yep. That is creating impingement. And so what I had uh, her do is check the position of the femoral heads. What does that look like? So if you wanna come into the frame with me, if you will take two fingers and rotate your leg back and forth, you will feel the greater trochanter, which is here, okay? As you rotate back and forth, you will feel it fall between your fingers. So as we do this, she's gonna line up like that and find out where they are. This is a test that I have come up with over um, years of clinical practice. Mm -hmm. So when she does that, we see that the femoral heads are not in the same place and that's creating a sense of false impingement, not true impingement, but false impingement. And on the impacted side, the right side is much, uh, is forward. So what we're gonna do is go over the ways to fix that. So the first thing that we wanna do is what I call kite flying. It's actually a posterior inferior joint mobilization, grade four, if you're talking um, healthcare jargon, um, to the, bear with me here, to the hip, okay? So posterior inferior glide going down this way, down in this direction. I can do that as a therapist and it's far more effective. However, that's cost prohibitive for someone to come in every time they have an issue where the femoral head is not centering in the acetabulum and it's creating a lot of pain and a false sense of impingement, especially if they've had a labral repair. So you would refer to the kite flying video in the YouTube series in order to um, take the next step. Okay, everybody, so after you have either your physical therapist do your posterior inferior grade four joint mobilization, it has to also include medial to lateral rotation, then you're actually gonna to go to two or three videos, I call these hip hack videos, and you can look at taming the snarky psoas, okay? I also have a workshop on that if you haven't done that one yet, just go to integrativelifestylemed.com under public classes and you get the Snarky Soas workshop. You can also try the hip packs I have here on YouTube. The swimmer and the kicker can also work really well in that order. I hope you guys uh, like this video, and uh, if so, don't forget to subscribe, and go ch check out the Snarky Soas video um, if you feel like that might be helpful.